appeals court gives a bulletproof ruling, as Dahlia says, and they still decide to take it up. Here's a, here's a guy that looks half like Fat Albert and half like Albert Einstein. Then the appeals court gives a bulletproof ruling, as Dahlia says, and they still decide to take it up. What it says is that they are cor- corrupted political actors who act in bad faith. The reason why people like Mark and people like Dahlia seem to have a crystal ball is because they're real because they're realists and they understand the court for what it is. And at some point, people in the media, people at home, and people sitting in the White House have to stop pretending that the Supreme Court is some kind of benign, trying to do its best institution and start to realize that there are six Republicans, not conservatives, Republicans on the Supreme Court who view it as their job to help the Republican Party. And until we do something about that, until we take away that power, until we draw the line on them there, they will continue to do this. They will help Trump. They will take away abortion rights. They will end affirmative action. They will liberalize gun rights. They will do all of it until we stop them. And somebody, somebody needs to start listening in the higher echelons of the Democratic Party because we will keep losing every day we allow these six republicans in robes to rule over all of us i like that guy i like just listening to him he's making i mean first off everything he said that the court's going to do like cool sounds good to me right aaron like that's good stuff i was going to say twist my arm i was already going to vote for trump so you don't have to say more unbelievable you described him dave yeah, I I can't see the feed, but I knew exactly who you were talking about, <laughs> and I I listened to that lecture, and my my first reaction is, who lives like that? It's not it's not right. the blithe ignorance that is the most shocking, it's the self seriousness and the yelling and the high blood pressure and like good grief, man, you know, life it, reality is actually not quite so scary as these people all make it out to be. Even his point on we have six Republicans on the court who help the Republican Party at all costs. First of all, that just isn't true. Frequently, these right-wingers on the court squish uh, regularly on even on cases that, that Trump is pushing. Uh, but yeah, John, but Roberts has fl- John Roberts has flipped the other way several times in the last couple of years. Roberts, Gorsuch enshrined transgenderism now into our jurisprudence, for goodness sakes. Gorsuch, the, the supposed conservative. Amy Coney Barrett is squished on issues. Mm-hmm. I mean, cat, like, give me a break. You know, they've made really Im- important decisions on really important issues, so I, I have a lot of respect for them, but they're not totally predictable. And that's never been the case with the court. Even they keep bringing up the Bush v. Gore case, the supposed end of democracy from 2000 as, as something that's about to play out again. People forget with Bush v. Gore. They all remember that the practical conclusion of Bush, Bush v. Gore was a 5-4 decision, five Republicans, four mm-hmm. Democrats in party lines. But the substantive decision of that, the case involved two decisions, what to do now, but first of all, the substance on the equal protection clause. On the substance of the case, it was 7-2. There actually were Democrats who came over. And so the court on most issues rules unanimously or uh, with a pretty clear majority. Some issues, it's a little more divided, but you really can't predict these guys. And probably they're, they're uh, in, in terms of our three current branches of government, the, the, the branch that we should have the most trust in, imperfect as it is, is the court. Right. I, I completely agree with that, which Aaron, I don't know that I've made my point hardcore enough throughout this last half hour, but To me, it seems they are just setting up their audience to get a whole bunch of people to burn down the court when everything goes the wrong way. Like they want to burn down the institution. So in a weird way, they actually want the decisions to go against them. No, I I agree with you. And I think for the left, I mean, the ends justify the means. So if it means dismantling the way our Supreme Court works and, you know, I'm pretty tired as being a conservative and always going on the defensive, right? Because everything we're saying right now is about how this isn't true. All these accusations against us are wrong. How about the left? When he talk, when this man is talking about uh, judges in their robes, like, oh, because the liberal judges don't sit around in robes because the liberal, <laughs> like, are they wearing something different? Are they, has he read Katanji Brown's Jackson's? Like, has he read some of her writings recently? It's, you know, they, as if Roe v. Wade was not the left twisting, like Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you know, may she rest in peace. But that woman was absolutely using the law to make what she wanted to have happen in the country and the culture, she was changing culture through the law, right? It was not from the constitution. So it is absolutely astounding to me that he is throwing these accusations over to our side uh, when we know that they do the same and more, right? They actually are twisting the law. They're ready to pack the courts. They wanna get rid of the filibuster. This is the left that we are dealing with. 
it's also a a funless and sexless left. I look at a man mm-hmm. like this and how angry and upset he is. And I think, wow, that's why studies show why liberals aren't having sex. And I can't figure out if it's because that they're so unhappy and so caught up in their causes that they're not getting busy and not getting laid or they're not getting laid because of the reverse. I'm not really sure. And this man has not proven to me what what that would be uh, because I look at him and I think, oh, I don't know. Uh, but <laughs> but back, back to your point, which is... Uh, Yes, the left absolutely wants all of this to happen, and they're pretending that they don't. And I think it's a it's a bad act. In summation, just get laid, you might be just happier. Get laid. I just think get that laid, was... and you'll be happier, and you will vote conservative. <laughs> it's it really it's true. It sounds simple, but it's true. 